hello you guys welcome back to my channel for another plan with me last week i did this harry potter wedding themed week and i only got it about halfway done in the last plan with me so i'm excited to show you guys how it turned out i think it ended up really cute once i filled in all the wedding events and just got all the details to click together So you'll see I put Ron and Hermione for the day of the wedding and I cut down a sticker that said always and forever to make it just say always because of Harry Potter. And sorry if you hear a bunch of noise in the background. Of course, the moment I started recording, my neighborhood got super loud. Just lots of cars honking and driving by quickly. So moving on to next week i really love how this spread turns out i used my station stickers club kit from probably well over a couple if not a few years ago and they've just been sitting around waiting for me to use them and i finally came back to them so once more with love and station stickers are what i'm going to use for this spread and it turns out really cute i've started to fall down a plan with me rabbit hole again on youtube it's so relaxing and stressful at the same time it's a very weird sensation but it's good because it's motivational you know like i want to make my planner look pretty and then i want to do all the things that i said i was going to do in my planner because otherwise the planner gets depressing when you just keep making plans and you don't do any of them so as always, I start filling out my weekly page. This is always probably the most boring part to watch because it's all just writing, writing, writing. This week I wanted to catch up because I had been out of town. I was behind on things again after finally having caught up a couple weeks ago. I needed to do some writing. I needed to schedule a phone call, film my YouTube videos, do voiceovers, and record a podcast. And then for the personal to-dos, I have to drop something off at UPS. And for Flyweight Lady this week, it was Zone 5, which is the kitchen. So I needed to clean out the fridge, get the cat food area that gets all nasty cleaned up. The nice thing about my current apartment, though, is that the cat food area is way out of the way. So it's not under our feet the way it was in our old apartment. It's got its own little space that I just go and clean up when I can and until then it can get a little messy and it's not a huge deal and then I have my daily habits like reading moisturizing cleaning the litter box swish and swipe which is the fly lady thing and doing yoga I like the life balance to-do list at the end but it's starting to get a little redundant because for health and sports it's always yoga for me for fun and rec recreation I come up with a few more fun things but personal development, spiritual, all of that's sort of included in all of my to-dos. It's not an isolated thing, but I'm still working with it. And I think it's more that I need to try to come up with other ideas and I don't, but that's how you get balance, I suppose. So I used this little superhero once more with love sticker to mark down my flight back home on Monday, which I thought was super cute and this floral page flag and then the arrow to say home and i have a little drama queen emoji for when i get home because i was so tired i barely slept while i was out of town for the wedding it was a beautiful harry potter themed wedding it was gorgeous but lots and lots of stuff to get done for it and not very much sleep so I did also put down this label to say nap time and with a little to-do header from the station stickers kit. And then the enjoy the little things banner. These stickers aren't all necessarily from the same kit. These are my leftovers from kits I've already used. So I have the pink, greenish, bluish, purplish sticker set. There's also a more purpley blue set and then there's the fall, more fall colors that i didn't use at all and i'm excited to use those in a couple of weeks then i have my be a burrito little emoji from once more with love i guess does she call them cuties i don't really remember what she calls them right now but 
I thought it was perfect because I was being a burrito and eating a burrito. I didn't end up liking how the blue looked. It looked a little too disjointed. So I put in a floral flag and the cute little TV and then a floral sticker that says relaxing. Moving on to Tuesday, I do still want to incorporate my color coding wherever possible. So I marked down my nannying hours in orange. I have to lift to nannying, unfortunately, because my car broke down. You may have heard about this already. I'm never really sure which videos come out in which order and when I've told you about this, but in my budgeting video, you will hear about how I was having a great month financially. I was about $700 ahead from how I normally am at the end of the month, and I was so excited to put it towards debt or an emergency fund, and instead it all went to my car. So, I mean, it's good that I had the money, you know, so I didn't go more into debt, but you, I'm sure can understand how disheartening that is. So when I went to nanny that day, they were actually surprised to see me because apparently I wasn't supposed to nanny that day. I think I accidentally mixed up my dates a little bit because I wasn't sure what my flight dates were. So I gave her an estimate and so I was back a day earlier than she thought. And I also thought I didn't nanny on Friday and I did. So I ended up having an extra day. I also did a math practice test on Tuesday, so I marked it with it's a little hexagon and this cute floral paperwork that's also from Station Stickers. I think it was like a bonus page because she accidentally left out one of the pages for me in a kit, so she had to send it again. And the math practice test is for substitute teaching. I am looking into doing that as another source of income because it actually seems like it pays reasonably well and there's minimal hoops to jump through because I already have the bachelor's degree and I have experience working with kids, so I think it might be a good fit. I put this circle with treasure moments on it for the last day of summer for one of the girls that I nanny. Her little sister still has a couple days home with me before she goes off to school too. We went to Yoga Ert, which is our favorite little ice cream shop. It's vegan ice cream and it is my favorite dessert in LA. There is no doubt about it. It's so, so tasty. I also wanted to catch up on YouTube stuff that day, doing voiceovers and editing things. Tuesday, or it was Wednesday, sorry. I picked up my car, paid for it, and then worked the two jobs. I'm very glad I was able to get the car back in time so that I didn't have to lift everywhere because the lifts were getting so expensive. And that's where the rest of the $700 went is to the lifts. So then I quickly go through and fill out the days of the week because I always forget it until about halfway through the spread when I start losing track of, wait, which day of the week am I on? Where am I? What is this? That is one thing that I kind of wish was included in the planner, but I get that some people want to start their days of the week on a different day, whether it's Sunday or Monday. I don't think anybody starts on like a Wednesday or something crazy like that, but maybe they do. Uh, and I like that it leaves the option, but because I don't love my handwriting, I wish it was already in there. But I am working on hand lettering to make my spreads just look a little bit nicer. You'll see more of that next week in my spread, and I think it looks pretty cool. I also needed to buy cat food, something fierce on Wednesday. The poor cats were just stuck with their wet food and tuna for a couple days because it just wasn't worth the cost of getting a lift or a postmate to get their cat food, their dry food delivered. And they were totally fine with the food they had. It was just like, I think towards the end, they were like, all right, we like wet food, but where's the dry stuff? Come on guys. So I use this page flag to mark down my nannying for that day. I end up going a little early that day at 7.45 because we go along with her sister to school to drop her off. Bear and B, if you're wondering, it's like their nicknames. I don't want to share the names if possible because of privacy and things like that, but those are actually their middle names, which is super cute. I put this wreath sticker with the arrow over it. I wasn't sure how I would like it, but then I add a coffee emoji and it sort of completes the wreath's circle to make it look like the flag, the, the arrow is going through the wreath, which I really like how it ends up looking. 
to mark down my nannying for that evening and at lunch I spent money and ate out because I was super disheartened about the car stuff. I definitely went overboard on spending for like a week after that but hopefully I'm back on track now and it'll all be all be fine. On Friday, because it was my last day of summer with the girls and my schedule is going to be a little bit more open, I wanted to celebrate myself. So I also got a kombucha float, which is also from Yoga Ert. It was the first time trying it and I really liked it. It was like a lemonade kombucha with a strawberry Yoga Ert in it and it was delicious. So that morning I babysat that afternoon I babysat and in between uh, while I drank my kombucha float I went shopping for fall decor I didn't buy anything but I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna decorate my new apartment what I want to include I might do a video about how I decorate my apartment for the fall and the way that I keep it cheap I'm gonna stick with the color scheme I already have and go with the more blue and white pumpkin-y themes that you can find instead of the bright oranges and having to switch the entire color scheme of my apartment. I can just add some cute pumpkin-y aspects that fit right in. On Saturday, this is the day that I filmed this plan with me because I was a little bit behind and it was a day that on Friday night I felt so worried about how much stuff I had to get done and Saturday came and I crushed it. So you'll see some of the lists of things that I had to get done and I did it. So I used this washi type strip sticker to mark down that it's going to take all day with a coffee emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. And for the main goal it was to do all the things and that was my attempt at having nice handwriting and you can see it's not nice but oh well. So I start by recording the plan with me. Again, that's what I'm doing right now. And I think it looks really cute. I love this foil planner on top of the page flag. I'm a big fan of these station stickers, stickers, but they do seem like they peel up sometimes. They don't stay stuck down quite as well as I would like, but it's never a big problem. And then I use a Happy Mail sticker with the hexagon and eventually the Happy Mail emoji to fill up the empty space. I was going downstairs to take out trash, check the mail, get my HelloFresh box, and start the laundry. After I did all of that and got the laundry started, it was time to order groceries and meal plan for the week. Unfortunately, I was able to pick up the groceries same day, which was my hope just four hours later and I was able to go pick them up. I have started using grocery pickup and I might do a video on this eventually, but I feel like I've been listening to a lot of self-help books and I'm trying to run, basically run a bunch of different businesses at the same time. And at a certain point you have to delegate and my time is worth more per hour if I'm not spending that hour grocery shopping. So it's like a $6 fee to have somebody else grocery shop for me, which is way less than paying somebody minimum wage, you know? So it's a really good deal to, to keep some of my time and stay on top of my tasks. Like even something like self-care is so much more important to me than saving that $6 because self-care is something I really let slip sometimes and I need it. So it helps me maintain the balance. So I've started delegating and I think, Think I'm gonna experiment that with that sort of stuff more and more as I juggle more and more projects because the editing and the posting and the social media and trying to set myself for acting stuff it all gets chaotic so you'll see now it jumps ahead because the camera died I'm so sorry about that so Saturday to finish up I recorded a podcast and I used this little window emoji on Sunday to show that I was relaxing and I was going to do yoga, record some YouTube stuff. I might have had a meeting, but it got postponed and go to an engagement party. I really love how this week turned out. Please let me know how your week was. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.